Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because we have another Calder Cup on a book medal winner. And tonight's story is called A Different Pond by Bao Fi. Illustrated by T. Bui. And it's a book by Vietnamese authors. And I'd love to read it for you right now. Once upon a time, Dad wakes me up quietly so Mum can keep sleeping. It will be hours before the sun comes up. In the kitchen, the bare bulb is burning. Dad has been up for a while making sandwiches and packing the car. Can I help? I ask. Sure, my dad whispers and hands me the tackle box. The streetlights look brighter and the roads aren't so busy before the sun comes up. Dad turns on the heater and tells me stories. A kid at my school said my dad's English sounds like a thick, dirty river. But to me, his English sounds like gentle rain. We stop at the bait store on Lake Street. It always seems to be open. You're here early today, the bait man says. I've got a second job, my dad explains. I have to work this morning. On a Saturday... The Bateman asks. My dad nods. I feel the bag of minnows move. They swim like silver arrows in my hand. It's still dark when we get to the pond. We park the car and climb over the divide between the road and the trees. My dad holds my hand and walks ahead through the tangle and scrub. Step where I step he says. I am thinking about what Dad told the bait man. If you've got another job, why do we still have to fish for food, I ask. Everything in America costs a lot of money, he explains. I feel calluses on my hand when he squeezes mine. Sometimes, a Hmong man is at the pond. He speaks English like my dad and likes to tell funny jokes. Sometimes there's a black man there too. He shows me his colourful lure collection. This time, it's just me and my dad. It's like a little bit cold, and I rub my hands together, yawn and look up to see faint stars like freckles. As dad sets up a clearing, I gather small twigs, thin twigs for the fire. They need to be dry and clean. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then ten more for later. I put some rocks in a circle and set up the twigs like a volcano, Dad reminds me. I set one end of each twig down and the other up, leaning them in so they rest against each other and hold each other up. I get to light with just one match. And Dad nods. You want to put a minnow on the hook? Dad asks. I want to help, but I shake my head. No, I don't want to hurt that little fish, even if I know it's about to be eaten by a bigger one. My dad smiles. He isn't upset with me. Dad hands me a sandwich. Cold bologna between two pieces of bread. Careful of that spicy stuff, he says. This half a peppercorn, like a moon split in two, studded into the meat. I used to fish by a pond like this when I was a boy in Vietnam, Dad says, biting into his sandwich. With your brother, I ask. He nods and then looks away. Dad tells me about the war, but only sometimes... He and his brother fought side by side. One day, 
his brother didn't come home. The bobber dips in the dark and dead pulls. Got one, he says, almost shouting. A crappy, and soon another. Can I help, I ask. He nods, and I use two hands to help guide the fish into the bucket. The fish feels slimy and rough at the same time. Dad laughs at the funny face I make. Dad smiles, his teeth broken and white in the dark, because we have a few fish, and he knows we'll eat tonight. Time to go home. Dad must get ready for work. He washes his hands with a small nub of green and white soap. Then I do the same. I look at the trees as we walk back to the car. And I wonder what the trees look like at that other pond in the country my dad comes from. By the time we get home, the sunlight coming through the windows is just a faint tint. Blue and grey instead of gold. At home, Mum looks tired, but she smiles. And she smiles at the fish in the bag and the big white bucket. My dad changes his clothes and gets ready to go to work. He puts me on the back and says to Mum, Our boy did a good job with the fire today. You learn so quickly, Mum says. Then she asks me to help with the fish before she has to go to work too. I'm sad that she and Dad must leave, but not too sad. I know that later on they'll both come back home. Look after your baby brother, Mum reminds my brother and sister, and she means me, and she gets on her bike and goes to work. I'm not a baby, I think to myself. I helped catch dinner. Tonight, when we're all home, Dad will put rice in the cooker. And Mum will fry the fish on both sides until they're crispy. I'll bring out the jar of fish sauce and the, that has flecks of chilli peppers and carrots floating on top. And at the table, my brothers and sisters will tell funny stories. Mum will ask about their homework. Dad will nod and smile and eat with his eyes half closed. Good fish, he will say to me. And I will smile and nod. And later, when we sleep... I will dream of fish in faraway ponds. The end of A Different Pond by Balfi and T.B. Here on the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night. <laughs>